dude, she's gurgling. Not bad. Got a little essence of deer piss still, but not bad. Loaded for pain. Loaded for pain. He ain't got a reason. He ain't got a care. Cause he's loaded for pain. Loaded for pain. Hey everybody, welcome back to Surviving the Apocalypse with Lou. This week, I'm going to show you how this $3 water bottle can actually be a great survival tool. So let's hit the field. All right, there it is. Wave at the camera, Lou. Nice job, buddy. So first thing is you're going to go ahead and clear that water bottle. Chug it on down. Hydration. There you go. Good survival tip number one. Clear the bottle. Next, find yourself a good patch of snow that doesn't look too pissed or pooed on and brush away the top because, you know, five second rule still matters in nature. And uh, painstakingly just uh, in a survival situation where you have fingerless gloves, yeah, you know, just get the tips wet because uh, nobody nobody cares about that. You'll be fine. Who cares about gangrene? Now you uh, speed up time and space to uh, autofill your bottle like a robot. And uh, once you've just packed it just just tight like a total ice cube imbecile, shake her clean and then a uh, little bit more I guess because you know I felt like I had to prove a point that I could stuff something like a turkey. Alright, Pathwater, go ahead and sponsor me. You're not gonna, but why not? You can see it's full because for whatever reason uh, I had to be transparent about that. Uh, here's one thing about this. Though it's a metal bottle, the lid's plastic, so take that off before you put it in a raging fire. Uh, made a backyard inferno right there that I'm sure had the fire department called a couple of times, but this is a free country. So uh, I tossed those boys a couple of banquet beers, and we had a good old time as I told them to get the hell off my lawn. Didn't want to use the big F-bomb there. Anyway, so you're cooking water like a total dummy, but you need to because them little microbes living in the snow, which honestly I thought ice killed stuff too, but evidently not enough, and boom! You wait a little while, you singe the bottle, we're doing all right, and uh, let's see how it sounds. Dude, she's gurgling. Yeah, go ahead and take your glove off. That's a good idea, Lou. And use it like an oven mitt, pull it on out, and then, uh, thank Christ, you have snow that you can just dunk it right back into, kind of some sort of yin and yang thing. Uh, make sure you didn't singe the plastic, because uh, drinking carcinogens would uh, really wreck a boiled fresh bottle of water. Uh, you can see I do just a crack job of cooling her off uh, like an eager beaver that just wants to sip down some singeable liquid. And then uh, let's go ahead, and after we prop it up, let's see how it tastes. All right. Okay, bye, everybody. Not bad. Not bad. There you have it, everybody. All right, we're back. Look at that thing. It's roasted and toasted, but I got to tell you, this little water bottle held up, and I was worried, you know, it's got a plastic top and a singe in the bottom here. I wasn't sure if the metal was going to be strong enough to hold up in the fire, but this thing's good to go. So, uh, path water. Got a hell of a product here. It says, uh, not landfill, refill. And it's completely reusable, and it's crazy awesome. These metal water bottles, these single-lined metal water bottles, can be used in a pinch to boil water, and these are fantastic. So if you see one of these in a, in a gas station near you, I'd say for three, four bucks, go ahead and pick one or two up. Uh, you know, it's great water as is. You can refill it as is, and if you're out and about in the woods and you need to boil water, metal water bottle's the way to do it. Single line. Single line metal water bottle. All right, everybody. That'll do it. Okay, okay, bye. I'm weird. I think spray cheese is actually pretty good. Oh, wow. He ain't got a care, cause he's loaded for pear. Loaded for pear. I like spray cheese. Also, I got a 10 pound bag of beef jerky. Uh, maybe I'll try and eat this in a week. I don't know yet, but look at this. That's a lot of beef jerky.